The world was ravaged by unending war. The people cried to the heavens, their hearts full of despair. Unbeknownst to them, the world was at the mercy of a group of vile demons known as fiends. One day, a terrible omen appeared in the sky. When morning came, not one, but two suns rose in the east. However, while one sun shined more brightly than ever, the other gave off a dull, black light, as if it were but a shadow of the real sun. It seemed as though the gods of the heavens could no longer bear to witness the troubled times on earth and parted ways with the gods of darkness. The gods of darkness, the fiends, looked upon this omen with fear. To them, the appearance of two sons foretold the birth of a human that would have the power to end their dark rule. However, the fiends could not destroy this child of light themselves. They discovered, however, they could corrupt the child's birth parents. The fiends approached Kagimitsu Daigo, a local samurai, and the future father of the Child of Light, and enticed him with promises of power. One night, in his dreams, Kagimitsu Daigo saw a vision. In this vision, he was told that he would be given the power to bring order to this chaotic world. Daigo, thinking that he had received a vision from the heavens, gathered all his courage and ventured to the temple called the Gates of Hell alone. As Daigo stood there, surrounded by the possessed statues of the 48 fiends, he was told that the price of his power would be his firstborn child. The sudden demand threw Daigo into a panic. Heightened by the echoing laughter of the fiends, his mind began to twist, and Daigo's reason and judgment failed him at last. He signed the contract. A few days later, Daigo's child was born. This was much to the surprise of Daigo himself, as he had expected the fiends would lay claim to his child. Daigo dared to allow himself to feel a moment of joy and relief, but that moment proved to be short-lived. Shadows gathered over the newborn, wrapping themselves around its tiny body. A voice sounded from within the shadows. The body of your son now belongs to the 48 fiends. As promised, you shall be granted the power to bring order to this pitiful world. You shall never know defeat in battle from this day forth. Your path to victory shall be littered with the corpses of those who defy you. Forty-eight parts of the infant's body had been stolen by the fiends. Seeing what happened to his son, Daigo let out a blood-curdling scream in anguish. Suddenly, Daigo sprang into action. He snatched up the infant in his arms, jumped atop his trusty steed Midoro. His wife desperately tried to stop him, but Daigo shrugged her off and made his way toward the river.